mean, I know these, these gigs that you're placing for paid, paid positions and, and uh, you know, contractor full-time work, but are there, are there times where you see, or in talking with clients, you hear about internships or things that you know, may be um, you know, not really the gig itself, but something that's, that's happening on the side that you're, you're looking for, you know, maybe Rebecca could help you guys with, or that uh, we could... Sure. Um, it's really good for us to have those types of contacts as someone that would be a good point person for internship type opportunities that we would get. We do get them sometimes. And oftentimes, you know, depending on the client, you know, we also just place them in what the candidate and the client work directly on. You know, I placed a girl, I actually placed a girl just a couple of years ago on a project with a client who was, he was one of our bigger clients, but his wife was starting a boutique, right? And he's like, do you have anyone that wants to build a website and put it on their portfolio and sort of give a take, I'll give someone a chance. And you know, we're, obviously we're not charging for this. We just made the connection and move on from there. So we definitely do that. It's not like an everyday thing, but we definitely do it. We do hear about internships and oftentimes, um, you know, the people that we've brought in may not be interested in an unpaid internship or, or a paid internship, you know? So then we'll go to our contacts like Rebecca and say, hey, do you have anyone that would be good for this? So absolutely. short-term projects, how on your resume, or what's the best way to present that when you're out looking for a job? Because, for instance, I just did a five-week contract. Okay, it's done. I have moved on. But I've had contracts with Microsoft for five years, even though I have to do my 100-day break, and I have to yeah. do my back, you know, but they kept bringing me back to the same group. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, it looks like I have some long-term stuff, even though they're Big contracts, and I have a five week thing here. Like, it, it's it like it great. looks like I'm not dedicated, right? Yeah, when in fact, I truly am. So, how do you present that to somebody when you're looking for a job so it doesn't look like you're looking for just a place, right? Basically. I would say, um, do you, I mean, some of our candidates, it depends. Some of our candidates, you have your a name for your freelance business that you work under, or is it just freelance clients that you have? Well, usually I work through agencies. Okay. So, yeah. so I would say um, freelance contract work from the date that you started freelancing and contracting through present. Mm -hmm. And then I list the companies that you've done different gigs with um, just to show that you've been doing contract work. And then I list the longer term opportunities below that. Um, I think so, I'm a little more complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say a lot, especially designers, they say like, Freelance graphic designer, 1998 to present, have worked with this these company's clients. Right. These clients, and then below that they go into their more contract work. As far as the Microsoft stuff goes, I saw somebody that um, read them yesterday that laid it out kind of uniquely I've never seen. They said Microsoft is like the main job title, and then they said A dash contractor, this project from this date to this date, this project from this date to this date. So by calling it out as, as an A dash, which means I feel like everybody, at least in, in this job market, knows what that means. It's like, or okay, it's she's an A dash. She didn't leave because she because of anything wrong. She left because she had to. Right. Yeah. And I think it also depends. I mean, I definitely encourage people that I work with to have a couple different versions of their resume because it depends on what you want and or what you're applying for. Because an agency client of ours is probably this is a generalization, but depending on the freelance work you've been doing might be more interested in the freelance gigs that you've had rather than the Microsoft work. Some of our clients that aren't Microsoft see Microsoft, 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 and they wonder, right, is this person going to be able to work in a smaller environment? You know, do they just know the Microsoft way? Or are they going to be able to sort of assimilate in our small agency environment? So it's nice to highlight in the beginning the contract stuff. Um, for a Microsoft job, that might be the opposite, right. you know? Um, <laughs> So it's about not only, again, telling that story, but telling the right story at the right time to the right person, you know? So, okay, so when you put your alerts out, though, you're not saying this is a job with Microsoft necessarily. Mm -hmm. The only key to that to that alert might say, Microsoft, you know, experience right. would be for something like that. I mean, yeah. that's, that's my clue that it's actually at Microsoft. Yeah. Yeah, which but when we, um, sorry to interrupt, so that's right. Um, before we ever present anyone for the job, we have conversation will tell you who the client is sure. as long as you've already gone through the process and registered with Creative Circle. So that's when you know we can say, okay, I want to present you this job. You can say, actually, I have a resume that's more formatted to Microsoft, or let me put something together. 
email it to you before you send it. Well, that's what I'm wondering, like with your alerts, would it be better to attach that to the resume? You can do that. that for sure. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, you know, I did a refresh with Liz or Annie or Kristen. Um, I have two resumes on file. I think the Microsoft resume would be better, but let me know. You know, that okay, kind of so thing. So you would have several We would know. Yeah. Oh, five. I have candidates that have five different resumes. You know, I've saved in a folder with their name, and oh, I'll have to ask them before I send their quiz. Do you want your project management account management resume? Do you want your biz dev account management right. resume? You, you know what I mean? And you just go through and make sure you're sending the right one, and, you know, get little sound bites that they think might be, you know, good to mention for that job.